I just got access to the new Apple intelligence here on the iPhone and I've had it for about three days now and I wanted to show you 10 different things. Some are really interesting, some I was not quite impressed. I got my old iPhone here too. So then I could show you some of the things the old iPhone won't be able to do. This is a iPhone 14 over here, iPhone 14 Pro. This is an iPhone 16 Pro. So 16 Pro, 16 Pro Max, and uh, iPhone 15 Pro, those are all going to be able to have Apple intelligence. I'm using it in beta right now. What you need to do is if you wanna turn it on, just go to the settings app, go to general right over here and under software update, you need to turn on beta because this Apple intelligence right now is in beta. So over here, you just need to turn on iOS 18 public beta. Again, do this at your own risk if you've never installed beta. They are sometimes glitchy. So if you don't want to try it with beta, then you have to wait till it rolls out to everyone. Now, once you do that, back in the settings app, you'll have a new section called Apple Intelligence and Siri. And this is where you go ahead and turn it on right here. Now, let me show you some of my favorite things and then we'll jump into Siri and then kind of compare it to see how much it's improved. The first thing I like is inside of the mail app, They've created a lot of useful updates. Some of them are iOS related, some are Apple intelligence related, but this one is really nice. It scans all your emails and it creates a quick summary. So this right here is a summary of the email. The one thing I wish they did is limit how many characters because right now this is a summary, but it still has three dots at the end of it. Some of these project check into align to next step. That's a great summary of this email. You also, based on the context of an email, especially if it's something that has a due date, this is next weekend. So it pulls it up in this priority format, which is really nice. So this one, so far, one of my favorite things that they rolled into it. Now, let me show you this other option. This could take place in any app that you use to write anything. This is the notes app, it works in the email app, but there's this tab, every time you select any text called writing tool, this is awesome. This is my second favorite part of the new iPhone Apple intelligence. So you have all kinds of different writing tools, proofreading, huge help, right? One click proofread and I got a new version of it. It fixed exactly what the problems were with this specific one. Let me go to this one. I'll select this part right over here and let's go to the writing tool. And you could always click one of these tabs right here to make it friendly, professional. You could insert like summaries, key bullet points, I could go ahead and rewrite it here and it's just gonna quickly rewrite it based on its default settings. So that one is really awesome. The Apple intelligence for the writing is a huge help. So you don't have to open up chat GPT or any other app. You just do a writing side of any app you're on. Okay, this next one is inside of the photos app, which is really useful. So inside of the photos app, all you have to do is search for a photo. Not only is it gonna find the right pictures, now it actually scans things and finds text inside of images too, using the vision mode that it has, but it also finds things with very specific context. I don't have any specific examples to show you, but you could type in like a sentence, like a person in the blue suit, and then it will find that person, and it will even find them inside of a portion of a video. So they did a really good job in their demo showing some examples of that. Searching for photos and videos is much more convenient because you can now use natural language phrases. So you can search for really specific things like Maya skateboarding in a tie-dye shirt or Katie with stickers on her face. Search in videos is also more powerful with the ability to find a particular moment in the middle of a video clip. So you can go right to the relevant segment when you search for that video of Maria cartwheeling on the grass. But the photo editing option is actually one of my favorite parts. So over here, they have this mode called cleanup mode. This is part of the new iOS 18 and Apple intelligence where you could go ahead and brush something and it will remove that object. So they've had similar things before, but this is really cool. So I could just go ahead and do that. And let's see, boom, really clean too. Let me try it again. Let's go, oops. Let's see if we can delete that. All right, wow, that works really, really nice. And they're rolling out a whole new app called Image Playground where you could generate images and all kinds of different things, but I don't have that just yet in the beta release. Now the voice memo app, if you use this app to record little voice memos, I don't really use this one much, but now when you record any new voice using just a regular voice memo app, it will automatically transcribe it for you. So right down here, 
it just gave me the quick transcription over here. And because it's a text-based type of an app, you could select it just like this and you'll get the writing tool within the voice memo app too. So I know a lot of people that use this app all the time to take voice memos, they're gonna love this auto transcription and the writing tool combination right inside of the voice memo app. Now there's a bunch of other little updates too that also take place on device, like you get a little notification recap using Apple Intelligence, again, similar to the email. But let's get to the biggest update of them all, which is the new Siri upgrade where you could press the side button, you get this little cool animation right over here, and now Siri is listening to me. But before I show you that in action, I should just mention, I never used Siri in previous iPhones. I've had the iPhone for like 15 years, but I just never used it because it just wasn't that good. Even like setting your alarm was something that was just easier doing it manually. So keep that in mind, but let's try it here in action. Can you, uh, can you find the latest news for me for today? Here's some news. Okay, that is not great. Can you recap any of that for me? No, I guess it can't. Let me see, can you, um, can you tell me what the weather is in Chicago? It's currently partly cloudy and 71 degrees in Chicago, Illinois. Okay. Um, well, huge improvement in the sound quality of Siri. It doesn't sound robotic. It sounds a lot better. Uh, can you open like the Instagram app for me? Hey, can you open the Instagram app for me? Okay, that's kind of cool. It could open the Instagram app. Can you make a post on Instagram for me? Here's what I found. All right. It can't interact with any apps so far. I'm just kind of testing out different things that it can do. Can you uh, tell me what Apple Intelligence is? Apple Intelligence combines the power of generative models with your personal Okay, can, can you stop? Okay, stop. It is designed to okay. understand and I guess I can't interrupt as well it. As images and take action on your behalf to Okay, can you tell me uh, what ChatGPT is? Here are some more things you can try in ChatGPT. Okay, start a voice. All right. No, tell me what ChatGPT is. Describe it to me. Hey, tell me <laughs> Tell me what ChatGPT is, please. Uh, can you help me plan a uh, trip? I found this on the web. Okay, so a lot of times it's just doing a simple web search for us. It's not taking any action. Can you put this iPhone on light mode instead of dark mode? Okay, light mode is now on. Oh, that's cool. So it does have access to some settings. Can you actually go ahead and change my icons? I want to remove the Instagram app from my homepage. Okay, it's now off. No, do you, no, I'm asking you if you could remove the Instagram app from the homepage. You can manage your installed apps and iPhone storage settings. Okay, so it can't do it. Can you delete the YouTube app? I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Could you please say that again? I'm asking if you could delete the YouTube app for me. You can manage your installed apps and iPhone storage settings. All right, can you at least name 10 things you can do for me? Okay, you like me to call you 10 things you can do for me. Oh my God. No, I will I, not then. No, I'm asking you what are 10 things you could help me do? Uh, what are 10 things you could help me do? Hello, what are 10 things you could help me do on my iPhone? All right, now I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> Let me try. Hey, can you uh, tell me 10 things you could do on my iPhone? Here are some things you can try. Okay, these are just good old things that I used to be able to do. Set reminder, pause a song. Can you set a reminder for me? What do you want to be reminded about? I want to remember to take the garbage out to the curb. Okay, 
I added it. Okay, so the old Siri sounds obviously very uh, robotic, but let's try it with the new one. Hey, can you uh, set a reminder for tonight to take the garbage to the curb? Okay, I added it. So far, the Apple Intelligence Siri, super disappointing. Every time I was trying to get it to do any type of search for me, it doesn't do that. I guess that's where the chat GPT part is supposed to come into play, but it's not doing that just yet. I don't have in this beta version, the Siri that connects to chat GPT. So all it's doing for me is pretty much everything I was able to do on my old phone with a much, much better human sounding voice. So that's really cool. But you know, and it could do some things inside of my settings app on my iPhone. So I could ask it to change some settings and it has some context because it knows things related to my calendar and all that. But right now that wasn't working very well, but let's see where it goes. That was just my first initial test. Again, I've only had it for two, three days inside of the beta version of it. And so far some impressive things, very disappointed in Siri. Hopefully when it fully rolls out and it has that chat GPT rolled into it, because the voice mode, the real time voice mode right now I have inside of chat GPT is mind blowing. I'm using it maybe 30 minutes every single day. So I would never have a conversation with Siri unless I wanted to change my phone to light mode. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see where it goes, but I'll update you when I get the full release with ChatGPT. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.